We made it to the shop. Let's just see what these nebs are up to. Yo, I got hit on my bike. Really? I ate that shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, yeah, I just hit a van and look. You hit a van or the van hit you? The van, no, the van hit me. <laughs> Fucking ate that shit. I was going 100 on the freeway. What Fuck the? It, I was just cruising. I just see that left turn signal and the motherfucker just came in, decked me. I was like, oh, fuck. Lucky I didn't go down. I just... Oh, my God. Is there anything happened to the bike? Yeah, it's fucked. What? Did you get... too bad, though. My heel hurts. I'm about to go to fucking early camp. Damn. Other side or this side? This side. Oh, uh, I can see, like... Yeah, it's leaking oil. I gotta go home and fix this. And then this guy... He's fucked. paying for it, right? It was a company car, dude. So oh, you're good. He's talking to his boss right now. Damn. Dude, you eat that shit, though. <laughs> bro, I thought you were kidding. I was like, what? Dude, that's... Like, chilling the music, just chilling. I was like, oh, fuck, he's turning to laugh. You can't just, like, swerve, no, I like... Did. I swerved, like... Really? I swerved, because I feel like if I didn't... Oh, my hit me God. But like I like went parallel with him and he like sideswiped me. Holy shit, bro! Dude, for real, is there any mark or my anything? My fucking foot is swollen. I'm bleeding like right here and then my elbow's a little scraped. Holy up. fuck! What? Huh? Dude, the fan. <laughs> Suspension time. Suspended. Suspended. So we got the stuff to fit. So we switched um, before we had the TC Klein springs right here, and they were too like skinny, so they didn't fit on the actual coil or the strut. Um, and then these right here on the other ones, or the other ones didn't fit, so now, I don't know, it's all good now. So, finally time to install. So you didn't take apart the whole front? Did not. Set me up. These are the old Raceland. <laughs> These things are junk. This one's like extra fucked. Dude, look at how nasty. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude. Yeah, I'm so glad we're changing these. This shit is junk. Oil change. Yeah. Um, so that is the oil after 4,000 miles. November 4th was when we did my last oil change. Oh, Remember this side was loose? Here are my SPL rear toe arms. Nice little touch. So a lot of people were wondering if the IS has an LSD or not. Um, it doesn't, simple answer. And then I had some other comments saying it's a, an E-diff, electronic, like kind of like locking diff. And it's definitely not. I'm talking to myself, uh, but Grub just said if it was an E-diff, he said it's Bluetooth. Yeah, because there's no plug. So if it was electronic, there would be something plugging into it somewhere, but there isn't. So, uh, nope, just an open diff. It's just geared differently, probably, for the DCT. Look at this idiot. Dude, I got some white spring nipples, dude. <laughs> so the rear springs are still TC Klein, 800, 800 pound springs. Fronts are 550 pound springs. So, it's gonna be stiff. But yeah, no, um, 
It is not an electronic diff or whatever. It's just a regular Bluetooth, dude. Bluetooth diff. Yeah. Look at that. Look at what? SPL arms and new suspension. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Tripwire. Look at that, dude. Solid, dude. <laughs> He's so much nicer. Look at that. Bam. I'm pretty sure you guys have the same character. What? Another fry. Well, it Another is fry. not a job here. His job is to take a lap. My job is to take videos of Jeep. So you can get sued later. <laughs> Look at all that oil. This is liquid gold, probably over $20 a liter. That's it? Only bothers if you can afford this, YouTubers, you know? Oh yeah. So, got SPL and links. Dude, 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 it's almost done, dude. It's almost done, dude. Almost time to check the fitment. It's probably gonna be ass. You think? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I'll adjust it. We'll see. It's gonna be dumped. <laughs> it's a monster truck. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Hell yeah. We're also missing a fat chunk of fender, dude. No, I'm not. There you are. Oh, that side. The other side, yeah. Because of those F14s I had for a week. You want it lower? How are we looking? Oh, hell yeah. Want to dump, dude. That'll do. Oh, Don't. <laughs> no, that's chilling. Let's go, Bo. You're ready. Your alignment's set. It's all good? Huh? Oh damn! Yo, look at the toe in on the side. <laughs> the wheel's like, it's like that. You see that? <laughs> that looks crazy. We crab walking down the freeway. <laughs> Alignment done. Well, we gotta, we gotta test it, dude. The toe in the rear looked insane. Now it's way bien. You waving to me? Just kidding. <laughs> that sport button on. the rub test. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Oh, 
absolutely amazing I've never felt my car like this it handles I mean I basically have everything stock but rear toe arms um, and then the coilovers and it's like all the other arms are stock and I don't think the IS has anything crazy maybe they're a little better I don't I don't think so I think they're the same and um, it feels insane I don't know, I've had BC Racing coiler, co coilovers before on my old E92, and it felt good, but this is like a thousand times better. Like, the way it just handles all the bumps in the road and everything, like, it just eats it. Oh, it was M340. It absolutely eats all the bumps, and it feels crazy. I can fly through turns, like, I don't even have any crazy suspension parts yet, besides the coilovers, so. Definitely super happy with it. I'm definitely gonna have to do another POV video. I wanna do a, a Canyon video so you guys can kinda see how well it handles. Um, but it's pretty hard to show how it feels. Obviously you guys aren't gonna be able to tell, but it feels, it's a night and day difference. The car feels insane. I'm definitely planning to do like SPL, well maybe M3 upper and lower control arms and then some SPL parts around just to make it feel even better. Um, Definitely have to do that at some point down the road. Um, gonna probably do the solid like subframe bushings and might do M3 subframe or whatever. I'm not really sure what exactly I'll do, but um, just spent a lot of money on this, so um, gonna enjoy it. And I'll probably do that other stuff somewhat soon. But anyway, yeah, I'll try to get some little outside clips. I'll show you guys the fitment, what it looks like. Um, I don't. We didn't do any crazy alignment really um it's definitely a smart camber but um yeah Yeah, so that's how it looks. Nothing crazy. It's not like super low or anything, but it is definitely a little bit lower in the rear. The front's just about the same, but it feels perfect. It's very stable, like I said, but yeah, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one. Definitely going to have another POV coming pretty soon. Um, but yeah, catch you guys in the next one.